Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options. And this is the morning market preparation video for December 10th, 2019. Well, today, my goodness, we have had, we've got quite a situation forming up here in the market with just a, a huge amount of uncertainty. We have articles of impeachment being, um, uh, being, uh, released in the house, maybe even today. Um, we have a North American trade deal that's been hanging in the balance for months and months and months that Congress has put off passing, but apparently gained a little bit of traction yesterday um, as they negotiated with the White House on that North American trade deal. Maybe that one's coming forward. We have um, phase one trade deal where we hear in the news reports today that China has stepped up their commitment to soybean purchases and we have uh, uh, un complete uncertainty whether or not that deal is going to come together in time for the tariff increases that may be coming on Sunday. So all of that is adding up to a, a major uh, trifecta of uncertainty um, here in the market. Now, yesterday we just chopped sideways. It was a really crummy day, just very light price action chopping sideways in the indexes. There may have been there was really good stocks out there you may have made some nice money yesterday but the indexes themselves really just kind of struggled along not going anywhere so let's take a look at the charts here and see if we can get some information out of this first thing I'd like to point out is if I draw a trend line up through here I want you to notice that we have come back up to test that trend line as resistance we also have the possibility of this head and shoulders top being placed here in the market. And this morning we're getting a push in the futures down. Dow futures are looking to gap down into this opening, this big gap down in here, looking to gap down. Now, whether or not they're really going to find the energy to push on through and, and move much lower, I can't tell you. And I gotta tell you, what's happening right now is just there's just so much uncertainty. The market's waiting around for that next shoe to drop. What's going to happen next and we have to understand um, if you're taking risk in the market that sentiment um, surrounding all of this all of these things could shift on a dime so if it happens during the day we as retail traders can have some opportunity to respond to that and do something with it but consider the the possibility that um, whatever occurs where the news report comes out the tweet or whatever it is that may change that sentiment if it happens overnight if it comes in the overnight period we're as traders about the only thing we can do is deal with the aftermath so so kind of keep that in mind and consider your risk very carefully as um, you think about this market. I, I know there's folks out there that are just absolutely committed to the idea that, that the market is going to go higher. And, and trend of the market certainly indicates that we could go higher. But I don't know how much money you want to risk on that bet considering the um, situation that we're in right now considering the possibility of tariffs on sunday and if a de decision is not made um, what that may mean for the market now that doesn't just because we have a tariff increase we've got t lots of tariffs on right now and it certainly has not prevented the market from going up it would be that initial reaction that the market would have to that news that would be the damaging thing it may not necessarily even change the overall trend of the market so um, keep that in mind we may have built in this rally and I believe we have we've built into this rally the uh, potential of that trade deal completion but uh, that may be hanging in the balance the other thing we have to think about and the other thing we have to consider is uh, the FOMC meeting beginning today the FOMC meeting as you know um, they have really projected they plan to do no um, 
um, interest rate changes here for a while. They've they projected a wait and see approach on um, that matter. And I think that's probably exactly what we're going to hear. And the FOMC announcement on Wednesday may be a non-event. But whether it's a non-event or not, just as we lead up, the waiting on that can also create a little bit of just uncertain pressure on the market, a little bit of back and forth. Not really sure um, what uh, what could occur there. So there's always that opening for something to change. So here we are dealing with all this uncertainty and the market's just well, it's a tough place to be trading right now. So be very, very careful in how you plan your risk or if you decide to even take risk in this market, realizing that it could shift. And it, and it could shift in just one news report or one tweet or something along those lines, um, whether it becomes more bearish or more bullish um, is anybody's guess. So let's take a look um, at the SPY, SPY. Also in a similar situation, SPY kind of facing here, we tried really hard to make a new high, um, ultimately pushing back down at the end of the day yesterday on the SPY, and now the SPY is gapping lower. Whoops, my drawing tool changed here. Um, gapping lower and looking just slightly bearish. Now I wouldn't get too carried away thinking, you know, run for cover or anything on this that we're ready to, um, you know, just bail out. But there is the, are these signs in the, in the chart that are a bit concerning and things that we do have to pay attention to. So no matter how bullish you may feel about this overall market and may have that commitment, and just determine how much risk you really want to put on that bet um, with this uncertainty that continues to brew in the market. Now, overall, I have to say the SPY holding up. We do have this trend and we do have that possibility of that double top or that tiny little bit lower high failure here with that follow through today. And as we move down into this gap, we could certainly try to fill that gap with a push down all the way into there. So watch that closely. If we take a look at the cues, cues also showing that same kind of pattern, that possibility of that little head and shoulders top uh, failing. And if, we, if I draw the downtrend, darn thing. If I draw the downtrend um, right here, you can see that we have rallied back up to test that downtrend as resistance. So you combine these two things and that just technically is not a pretty picture to look at considering that little bit of a failure yesterday. We tried to push higher, couldn't make it through there, pushing down and now following through this morning with a gap down. That is a little bit of a concern. So watch carefully this morning, plan your risk carefully as you move forward. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM, I, I've been looking at this as a potential bullish trade. And I still think it could be holding above that support where the other indexes um, last week kind of broke their support levels. IWM actually held their support. Now we're up here dancing around in a possible little topping pattern. We call this a bearish M. And that M pattern getting a little bit of follow through to the downside, uh, dropping into that gap. But I think as long as IWM holds this support, we could be okay in here or creates a higher low. So um, keep an eye on IWM. It could set up short. It could be a pretty good long trade if it holds that higher low. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday, while the market was going sideways, the VIX just kind of had that sneaky little move back up. We had that gap up in the morning. We tried to push higher and we just had that a uh, little bit of fear creeping into the market. And I suggested yesterday we need to watch this level of price support. Holding in that price support could be important. And we eventually ended up doing just that. Now, I don't think we're in terrible situation here just yet. I don't think we have to worry about panic, you know, screaming to the upside just yet. But I would watch this downtrend here. If we break above that downtrend and then happen to hold that as support, we could see that fear 
fear really begin to spike up if that were the case. If I take a look at these drawings that I have on here, this is a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart. Notice yesterday that we tested that pretty strongly and this morning's gap down, we will gap above that level. So we'll want to keep a close eye on this fear. If it happens to creep in uh, much stronger, we could see that big selling wave come into the market. So just consider that carefully if that does occur. Uh, keep in mind that where we closed yesterday in fear, even though the market just went sideways, was where we closed the day after that big fear spike in the market last week. So we're right back up there again, and uh, that concern is growing here in the market. So watch that closely. Take a look at T2122. It's the four week new high, new low ratio. One thing that's positive, I think, is that little bit of resting pullback yesterday actually pulled us back from this bearish reversal zone where we were kind of reaching up there into those high levels of the market. We'd stretched really far in just four days. Um, we got a little bit of rest, a little bit of pullback. Now this morning's gap down is going to pull that back even further. That could be a good thing overall as long as the bears don't really engage and take over um, here in the market. If the bulls can hold on, if they can defend, uh, that pullback may be just what we need to, uh, uh, if we get some kind of news or report or tweets or or something like that to inspire the bulls to break through and move on higher. So watch that carefully. Um, and remember, there's also the possibility that a lot of folks may be lining up short. And if those news reports start to, to shift to the bullish side, they'll be caught short, which creates a short squeeze. And that can actually break us out to new highs. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, pretty interesting um, in that we begin, we begin our economic calendar day with a um, uh, FOMC meeting starting up. So keep in mind, that's adding a little more pressure to the market. I don't expect the FOMC meeting to really do anything tomorrow. I don't expect them to, to change their statement much or do much of anything, but that's always up in the air. That could be a surprise. So we're beginning that meeting today. Just keep in mind at 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, they'll make that announcement. On today's calendar, we have productivity and costs, and that's really the only major market moving thing on uh, on the agenda today, and I don't expect that to really move the market around all that much. We have uh, like 25, 26 companies reporting earnings today. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on those earnings reports because they can, you know, move the market around a little bit. Um, reports like GME, uh, GameStop, will be reporting earnings today. We will hear from AZO, the AutoZone. Uh, they'll be reporting, oh, let's see, it looks like AutoZone has reported positively. They're gapping strongly higher this morning. How about Play, Dave & Busters? They are reporting today. And um, OLLI is some of the notables that might be reporting today. So you might want to keep an eye on those charts. Let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys uh, don't mind, if, if I could ask you for a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time a video is posted. You know, the, the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything. They're not to provide any hype or any, anything along those lines. They are meant to help you view the technical issues and the news issues that may affect the market for the day and help you decide how you want to approach the market for the day. You know, one of the things that I used to fail at years ago, and I failed at this badly for a long time, is I was heavily affected by the hype and the drama and the news of the day. And I get myself all wound up where I might chase into the market, I might make a really bad decision, and it cost me a lot of 
money and a lot of time in doing that. By doing this market preparation every day, it helped me a ton in settling myself and just focusing on the technicals of the chart. One thing to remember is no one cares about your money more than you do. And even though there's all these great reports and all of the drama on uh, the news channels, financial news channels and things like that, they don't care about your money as much as you do. So you have to make those decisions yourself looking at that market. And hopefully you find these videos helpful for that. And if you do, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment to help us continue to go grow these channels, this channel. And if you can do me a favor, um, and also, um, if you feel the video is worthy, post it out there on social media so other folks can uh, find out about what we're doing here and maybe they can get some um, help or support uh, for their trading as well. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And uh, before I, I show those, I just want to make that reminder that none of the charts that I show in the videos here are recommendations to buy or sell any security. So keep that in mind. And um, you want to do your own evaluation of these stocks and focus in on where um, you might want to enter or um, not enter into these trades. Let's take a look. I'm going to go to UNH. Now, I've talked about this one a few times, and UNH has been up here testing up in this area, and yesterday got a little bit of selling coming into play. So be careful with this one. We're not out of the woods here, but in this situation, we still have this trend in play here on UNH. If the bulls can pick up, if they can push this on through, there's still an opportunity here in UNH, but there's no reason to rush to this trade, uh, particularly in the market condition. Kind of keep that one in mind, a little bit of trouble coming in on that chart. Take a look at STX. STX yesterday, ugly, ugly failure here yesterday. It looked like we might uh, try to climb back up, but now we've created this lower high in the market. Now we're still up above our 50 day moving average on this and we responded back but I got to tell you STX could be setting itself up for a potential short with a little rally back. Let's watch that close. Uh, Cisco, if you're looking for a short trade, I called this one for folks in right way options um, last week. And, um, nice short trade. It just worked out great. Um, Cisco moving down um, we have lowered that. We tried to spike up yesterday, but notice our candlestick pattern here from yesterday. A little bit of failure could still come into play, and we might see Cisco drift on lower here. So watch that close if you're looking for a short trade. I had mentioned Coca-Cola yesterday, and although it tried to move up yesterday, it ended up pulling back. Now, one of the things I want to pay attention to here is if the market gets a little bit spooked, we're going to see defensive sector stocks possibly rally and so you could look for utilities utilities might be a place to look um, defensive sector stocks like coca-cola pepsi kroger tyson stocks like that where um, we get a a solid dividend yield and um, a good um, a, a little bit of security, I guess I should say, in those defensive sector stocks. So if the market is going to get nervous about these things, we might want to look toward those defensive sector stocks. Having said that, let's take a look at Coke here. Coke breaking above its downtrend and now pulling back. What I want to see is Coke prove that it can actually hold support in this area. If it can hold that price support across here and bu see buyers stepping up in there, I may be looking for a long entry into coca-cola so keep an eye on that chart pretty interesting overall take a look at mlnx that mlnx i've mentioned this multiple times as this continues to consolidate holding on to its trend here it made another attempt yesterday to try to break that resistance up here let's still keep an eye on it it's not ready for prime time just yet but as this continues to tighten up this wedge in here let's watch for that possibility of that popping out 
and pushing on higher. MLN, MLNX is one to keep an eye on. Another place you might want to take a look at is like XLP. Now, this is something I mentioned last week, and XLP has certainly moved higher. This could um, need a little bit of rest or a little bit of consolidation. But again, consumer staples may be a place where folks may go to if the market does get a little bit spooky. So keep an eye on um, those stocks. And if you use TC2000, remember it's just one click. One click and you can pull up a list of every stock that's in that component and uh, run through those to see if you can find that nice trade that you're looking for uh, for that upside move in the market. A place you might want to look it for a little bit of um, help would be VXX. Right now we're seeing that volatility kick back up. VXX might be a nice way to hedge um, your account. It might be a nice uh, simple directional trade that you can take. Notice the VXX has broken yesterday, broke this little downtrend and produced a higher low. It is gapping up substantially this morning. So as this proceeds, watch these resistance levels in the chart, but VXX might be a place where you can get a little, um, a little price action move uh, based on the volatility that could be created in this market around these news events that um, have the market kind of upset right now. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and also click those thumbs up buttons. And if you're struggling as a trader, um, I want to caution you. Um, if you're struggling as a trader, if you've been losing as a trader, this week might be a good week to just sit on your hands and protect that capital. Anything is possible this week. And I know you want to get your money back, but there's times to fight and there's times to retreat. This may be one of those weeks to kind of retreat. I can tell you I am playing the market very closely, very carefully, um, and not adding um, trades. And as a matter of fact, I'm doing a lot of hedging and, and um, trading around positions to protect those in case we get those big moves. So consider that carefully that it may be a good time to just stand aside, maybe pop some popcorn and watch the show until this finally um, shakes itself loose. We know what's going to happen with tariffs and which way the market might be headed. So with that, everyone, have a great day. I want to wish you all the best and we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.